Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Linda. Today, I felt like I wanted to do a topical for me tutorial for you guys on how to not look like you've been deathly sick for like a week. So I have a fun, happy-go-lucky sinus infection that has been kicking my ass for, you know, almost a week now. I'm in the stage now where it's like all in the cough and everything tickles. So like I've got water, I've got tea, like I've been mainlining fluids, but still sometimes you just gotta like, you know, put your big girl panties on and get on with your day and do shit. So while you don't ever have to put makeup on because you know, who cares? Sometimes you just wanna feel like you look a little more put together because for me personally, for some reason when I'm sick, if I make myself look a little more presentable, I feel a little more presentable. Does that make sense? Also, there is a thunderstorm outside, so I'm sorry if you hear that and if that's getting distracting, but let's, you know, see what we can do with this mug to make me not look like I've been dragged through the pits of hell. So, how are you guys doing? I got my hair done yesterday and the color is much lighter than I've had it before, but, you know, I'm determined to work with it. We shall see. Okay, so the only thing I've done so far is wash my face. Then I'm gonna go in with my toner, which is the Breath of Fresh Air by Lush. This feels so good, especially if you're feeling like a little feverish. This feels just amazing. How much is too much? How much is too much? Tell me when to stop. Now for me personally, this whole process is about putting moisture back into my skin because personally, when I don't feel well, my skin gets very dull looking and just dry, you know, my I'm dry to normal skin and the dry part comes out in spades. So even though, like I said, I'm mainlining 10 different kinds of fluid, I want my skin to look super hydrated, super glowy and just feel healthier. So now I'm going to go in with my Hyaluronic Acid 2% by The Ordinary. I just take a very little bit of this after my toner in my hand, maybe a dime-sized amount, and press that in. Hyaluronic acid is one of those things that helps your skin to hold in more moisture, so these are really good to add into your skincare regimen as it is. From there, I'm gonna go in with my daily moisturizer, and I also like to add oil into my moisturizer, so I'm going in with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer and adding in The Ordinary's 100% plant-derived squalane oil. Just those steps alone always help me to feel like my skin looks a little bit better. Then you're gonna add in your sunscreen. I normally use the Super Goop SPF 50 Everyday Sunscreen, but I'll be honest, I'm probably only going out to like the supermarket after this and coming right back and getting right back into bed. I'm gonna skip this just for today, but this is the point in the process when you would add your sunscreen. So now I'm going to go in with my Neod Photography Fluid Opacity 12%. This is my secret weapon. This is a beautiful shimmery lotion. It is very thin, uh, but it instantly transforms your skin to looking glowing and healthy. You need a very little bit. This is one of those things where you could almost stop here. This has been like my wonder drug. I love this stuff and I never hear anyone talk about this. I learned about this from Jamie Genevieve on YouTube and I'm obsessed. I need like. 58 more bottles, give or take 58 more bottles. Oh, that's enough glowing. Nah, nah, not on this channel. Now I'm gonna go in with a few drops of my Makeup Revolution Luminous Gold Liquid Highlighting Illuminator, and I'm going to apply a couple of drops of that all over my face, like all over the face, because I don't wanna look like shit. Already you can see the glow this gives, and this is just on top of my natural skin. I love this stuff. This is such a good dupe for the Cover FX Illuminating Drops, and these I think were like nine bucks, as opposed to the Cover FX ones, which are 40 something dollars. I'll put the correct price on the screen, but still amazing. Now you guys know I am not a heavy foundation girl. I am not a full coverage girl, but on days like this, I do like to do a little bit of color correcting because my nose is super red under my eyes is super dark. So I'm gonna go in with this Bella Pierre Pro Concealer Palette. I never thought I would use this when I got it in my BoxyCharm and I use this all the time. So when your colors are dark, like dark under eye circles, you wanna use a salmon or orange colored concealer that cancels out the blue tones under your eyes. 
Green concealer cancels out redness under around your nose or you know if you have a pimple, things like that. And purple helps if your skin looks a little like sallow. But today I'm just going in with the orange and the green. I'm starting with the green just around my nose. And I know it looks weird now, but trust me, when you blend it in, you will not see all this green. Now I'm going in with the Kat Von D number 40 brush and taking just a little bit of that salmon concealer because it can go too far, be careful, and putting it just where my spots are the darkest blue. Okay, I know we're looking a little crazy right now, but now is where you put on your foundation. I'm just using an Illuminating Tinted Moisturizer by Ulta. This does have SPF 20 in it, so again, that helps with your SPF. And I put it on with my hands because again, the warmth will just help it melt right into the skin. You hear that? One thing I love about tinted moisturizers is that I used the amount that was about half of a dime and this covered my whole face. It really makes my skin tone more even. It gives me a bit of a glow. I'm into it. Now's when you go in with concealer if you would like. Um, I've been loving this kind of cocktail of the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Light Neutral and the NYX Makeup uh, HD Studio Photogenic Concealer in CW00 Alabaster. I am not alabaster, but this does help lighten up my under eyes and give it a brightness. I also take this over my eyelids. Okay, I'm gonna do my eyebrows off camera and I will be right back. Okay, now I'm not gonna go ahead and set my whole face with powder because I do like that glow to still come through. So I am going in with my Kat Von D Locket Powder and the brush number 25 with the anniversary kit. And I'm just going to set, what was that noise? My phone just went off with a tornado warning. I'm, I'm doing makeup during a tornado. Gotta look good for a tornado, right? Gotta look good for the tornado. Also, for the record, the reason that I do this kind of makeup is because when I'm not talking to you guys, this takes me all of less than 10 minutes. It may take me like five minutes if I'm rushing through it. Because when you're sick and you feel like crap, ain't nobody got time for like a cut crease or a halo eye or some shit like that. I'm gonna do some really light contouring with my Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Kit. And for that, I'm going in with my Firma 103 brush. I'm also gonna take just a scooch of the lightest shade and put that in my crease, just a little bit. Now, because I'm one of those weirdos who really likes to glow, I'm gonna take a little bit more of that Makeup Revolution, I mean a very little bit of the Lu Luminous Highlighter, and put that right on the tops of my cheekbones. Don't use much because we already have it under the foundation as well. I'm gonna to top that off with the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Precious Petals. This stuff is amazing. And I'm going to be using my Moda BMX 265 Glow Brush. For blush, I'm going to go in with the Nude Colors 10 Color Blush Palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm gonna dip into a little bit of this shimmery rosy color, mixing it a little bit with this. Now I'm gonna curl my lashes and go in with just one coat of the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. Now you guys know I'm usually a liquid eyeliner girl, but when I don't feel well, I, I don't fuck with it. Finally, I just like to go in with kind of a nude glossy lip, no lip liner, anything like that. And we are complete. So even though I feel like hammered shit, I don't necessarily look like hammered shit, which was my goal for the day. I'm just gonna keep drinking tea if you guys need me. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm sorry if I've been a little MIA. I have not been feeling very well, but I feel like I am on the upswing finally, finally, finally. If you guys enjoy videos like this, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and smash that notification bell. You guys can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Vigo Video. Those are all glitter fallout. You guys are super rock stars. I love you with my whole heart, and I will <laughs> see you in the next video if I haven't died yet. <laughs> Bye.